Welcome to the second episode of Quirks in JavaScript. Today I want to talk about some unexpected behavior that happens between arrays and uh, strings. All right, let's dive in. First things first is concatenating arrays, right? If you want to concatenate arrays, what you can do is use the plus operator to concatenate them. So for example, here I have an array, so one and two, and I want to concatenate it with another array. Let's say, I don't know, five and four and five. And if I run this, oh, huh, <laughs> it, it kind of concatenated it, but it's like a string now, and that's kind of weird. Why does that happen? Well, that's because the plus operator doesn't work on arrays. So what JavaScript does, it says, okay, well, I'm gonna convert it to a string. Both of them, I'm gonna con convert them to a string because I know I can concatenate strings. And so it in it uh, converts this to a string, which is one, one comma two, and then it converts this one to a string, which is four comma five. And then just concatenates them, bam. And that's it, that's what the result is. So. A lesson from this is don't use <laughs> don't use the plus operator to concatenate arrays. What you can do instead is say one and two dot concat there's the concat function and give it the second array here, and then you get a uh, proper concatenation, and then you can actually use this new array, right? Because concat actually returns a new array, doesn't modify. Uh, both of them, both of the arrays that we've uh, given it. Second really important thing to note is when using sort, to sort arrays of numbers. All right, let's take a look here. If I have, for example, if I have uh, an array with two, eight, and five, right, and I call the sort function, you'll notice I get two, five, and eight. So that's nice, that's amazing. We got uh, the array sorted. Awesome, it works. Or does it? Well, if I try the same thing, but with different numbers, say 10, 1, and 3, and sort this, oh, <laughs> you'll notice that this is not quite correct. We get 1, that's, that's nice, but then we get 10 in the middle, and then 3. What, what, what's going on here? That's not right. Is JavaScript, is my JavaScript broken? Mm, not quite, no. Uh, what happens is that this sort, function actually takes in a uh, comparer function, right? So when you don't give it that comparer function as a parameter, it defaults to a sort of comparison between all the uh, elements, but when it tries to compare them, it compares them as strings, right? And if we convert these three numbers to strings, they're in proper order. Let me, let me show you. If I try to say 1 is uh, less than 10, that's true. And if I say 10 is less than 3, that's also true. So they're in proper order, just that <laughs> they are considered as strings, and when they are uh, finished sorting, well, they are just an array of numbers. So to solve this, what you have to do is instead use your own comparison function. So you go here, one, two, 10, 1, and 3, dot sort, and this takes in a compare function, and you just give it a, an arrow function, for example, that just says, let's say, a minus b, right? And voila, you get uh, the proper order here, 1, 3, and 10, or if you want it uh, ordered uh, the other way around, you can get, oops, you can get 10, 3, and 1, all right? Now, the third thing I want you to know about both numbers and strings is when you're doing operations between um, numbers and strings, usually you're going to end up with a string, but sometimes that's not the case. Let's take a look at the next example. So here I have a string that has the number 5 in it, all right? And I'm going to try to add a proper number to it, let's say a 2. Okay, so we get a string. That's kind of expected, right? If you concatenate a string with a number, it's going to um, it's going to convert this number to a string first and then try to concatenate them because the plus operator doesn't work between a string and a number. So JavaScript just uh, coerces the type, basically converts the two to a string. All right, fair enough, you say. But what if I, what if I instead add, I subtract? So if I do the same thing, just five, 
minus 2, well, you'll notice they get the number 3. So in this case, in this case, when we're not dealing with the plus operator, but instead with minus operator, it actually converts the result to a number. Why? Simple. Strings don't have the minus operator. If I try to, for example, uh, use the minus operator for two strings, for example, five and two, <laughs> again, it just converts them to a, to a number. And same thing happens. We don't get a string as a result, right? So JavaScript simply converts them to a number and then we get the result as a number, right? So just be careful when using these uh, operators on strings, right? You may get unexpected behavior. You may think that, oh, okay, this guy is actually converting it, so that's nice, and uh, forget that this one is actually concatenating strings, right? And you might get really, really weird results and unexpected behavior. So what are the takeaways from this video? Just be careful when dealing with arrays, right? When you're trying to concatenate arrays, use the concat function, don't use the uh, addition or the, the plus sign because you're going to get really unexpected results, right? It's very important. And don't use the sort function with the default behavior unless it's a it's an array of strings then, then it's, then it's fine. But don't use that because you're going to get very unexpected behavior and you might not even realize it's wrong due to uh, it seemingly giving us proper results. Remember when I typed in three, eight, and five, well, it sorted that perfectly. There was no problem. But when we're dealing with uh, numbers with more digits or with a variable amount of digits in the same array, well, that doesn't work, right? So make sure you use a compare function in the sort. And lastly, make sure to actually parse the numbers before doing arithmetics on it, right? In this example here, you can simply use parsint, which is probably not the best idea, but it's pretty good to simply convert that to a number so that both this one and this one gives you the same result, a number, a mathematical operation result. Okay. So I hope you got something out of it. This is really important and it can be quite confusing for uh, the unexperienced out there. All right. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.